What is your name, man? Oh, my name's Ashton. Ashton, where are you yeah. from? I'm from uh, Austin, Texas. Uh, do you got a girl? Nah. Do you want a girl? Nah. Would you at least try to get a girl's number tonight? I mean, maybe. We'll see what happens. That one. I know you like that one. Are you ready? Yeah, hell yeah. You ready? Come on. Get that blonde one. What's else name? Stella. Hey, uh, would it be a big deal if we made out right now? No? No. Let's made out right now. Oh my goodness, Ashton! Sensational. Oh, you guys are from Twitter, bro? Or from uh, TikTok? Oh, shit! Yeah! Yeah! Ashton, yeah! I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to kiss with the camera? I guess. Oh, Ashton, not the tongue. Can I get a kiss? I don't know. What? Kiss him, bro. Kiss him. Kiss him. No. Worth a shot. Damn, Ashton. Hey, get her, get her, bro. I mean, that was her friend, so. Let's see what happens. Hey, come here. What about you? I, you don't mind that I have stuff all over my face? No. Nah, okay. You. Holy oh. shit. My nigga. <laughs> Not the friend. How old are I you, like bro? my boy right here, man. He's dope as fuck. How old are you, bro? I'm 19. Damn. Bro, these girls were like 25 and 30. Fuck it, bro. Bro, say the N-word, bro. Nah. Alright. Ashton, you're gonna catch something, man. Yo, yo, what's good? You already know who it is. I praise this most high yeah, man. Make sure you guys give a like to the Lord Saber. Also, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe on the video. Just want to say I appreciate you guys. You are helping me grind and grow. And I, I just really want to say all the likes, the comments, man, the support. I appreciate it, guys. Listen, like the video right now. Before we even start it, like the video. Now, listen, y'all. As you guys can see in the clip before the video, uh, handsome Chad, you know, he came up and said, I don't have, you know, I haven't really been dealing with any girls like that. But they was like, you know, the dude's like, okay, we're going to see can we get you a kiss, at least a kiss. And you guys see, you know, y'all can see in the proof. This guy is considered, you know, a Chad. They're going to be considered by a Chad by a majority of white women. You guys know that the Chad archetype, we, we know it, the chisel face, just overall them good facial genetics, you know, decent height, etc. But you guys see, man, that what attraction, being handsome, you know, being that Chad archetype would get you. This guy, quote unquote, said he didn't have any type of play, wouldn't get any type of motion. And you see how these women were instantly flocking, instantly getting rid. You know what I'm saying? Instantly getting with what he was with. All he had was confidence. All he had was that confidence and them good looks. That's it. That's all he had. You know, there's no other reason why this happened. A lot of y'all say, oh, they were drunk, this and that. Guess what? When people are drunk, they go after who they're attracted to. Now, I'm not saying do something with somebody when they're drunk. I'm not saying nothing like that. Don't put that in my mouth. But from my experience, a lot of times the girls the girls has already been looking at you, already been liking you the whole time, they typically flock to you when they're drunk. They typically just tell you the truth. Sometimes, you know, it won't be just sex. Sometimes the girl will be so drunk out of her mind that she'll be telling you what been on her mind the longest about you. She'll, she'll tell you some truth. You know? So understand that, man, especially, you know, with, with situations like this. These girls probably been iron dude the whole time. You know, and they just wanted them. But let's hop straight into this, man. It's number one. If he was ugly, guys, this wouldn't have happened. Let me tell you something. This guy was ugly. If he was unattractive, this would have not happened. He would have not got probably a single woman except maybe the super sloppy ones to actually lock lips with him, guys. It takes a, a different level of intimacy for a girl to like lips with a man. I'm letting you know this right now. If a woman likes lips with you, she finds you very attractive. She, she really emotionally connected to you because women don't just kiss anybody. I'm gonna let you know that right now. A woman uh, uh, give a man a blowjob, but she will not kiss him. I'm telling you this. A woman who kisses a man is a woman who generally, like she found him very attractive and she emotionally connected with him because kissing is very intimate. I don't kiss like that. Guys, if y'all see me kissing a girl on film or something like that, I'm going to let you know right now, me and that girl had to been locked in. She had to been nothing, been a process to my progress, all that, man. Shout out BL8. She had to been all that because I don't like lips with, with women, man. I really don't. I'm scared to like lips with women. 
You know what I'm saying? You might like little sort of woman, and you might have a damn a, a bump in your damn mouth, and your mouth hurt. You like, Doc, I, I kicked her now. I got a bump in my mouth. Yeah. You see why underdog said, man, I really don't kiss girls like that. You know. But um, the thing is, guys, is if this guy was unattractive, y'all know. Forget what you heard. Forget what you thought. Y'all know if he would have been unattractive, this wouldn't happen. This one even got close to happening. And you know what What I was really waiting for to see, you know, like, okay, all these girls might not find him that attractive. But when I really started to look, the first thing I was waiting on was for the girl, a girl to say, what? And smack him. Literally give him a damn pimp smack. But that never happened. That never happened. All them girls, majority of them, was gone. And do y'all think Y'all leave in the comment section right now. What that would have happened if he was unattractive? If he didn't have good skin? If he didn't have a nice chiseled face? If he didn't have a decent haircut? What that would have happened? You tell me. If he wasn't a Chad, what that would have happened? I want to know. Would those results been the same if an unattractive guy would have did that? Would the results been the same? I highly doubt it. And I'm sure you guys too. If he was unattractive, none of this would have popped off. Them girls would have gave him, get the hell out of my face. What the hell is wrong with you? You know how they act. Next is that this treatment happens when you are handsome to a majority of women. Listen, guys, I always remember something. When one woman find you attractive, then you got another woman find you attractive. Then you got another woman saying the same thing. Nine times out of ten, a majority of women find you attractive. A majority of women find you attractive. I'm not saying all. You're going to have that beautiful woman out of nowhere that's going to crush your ego, but you're going to also have another beautiful woman that's going to think you handsome. That's going to think you guys give. But I'm telling you this. This does not happen. This type of treatment does not happen unless a consensus of women, unless a majority of women find you attractive. Majority of women you come across think you cute, think you handsome, think you fine. Majority or hot. Majority of women has to think you attractive for that. This does not happen unless. Not just, oh, I was attracted to that one girl that I dated 17 years ago. No. Nah. If women are acting this way like more than one of them, constantly flocking like this, constantly flocking. They that like that on you. Majority of women find you attractive. This is the type of treatment you get. Like I tell you guys all the time, I just looked at how the women who showed me, chose on me, whenever I would get them alone, whenever I talked to them, they all did the same thing. They made it easy. They was okay with coming to my mama's crib. They was okay with doing whatever I wanted to do. They was okay with that. And the same thing with these women. They okay with kissing them. They okay with it. They don't care. The girl seen him kiss another girl, and she wanted to kiss him too. They okay with it. This is the treatment you get when a majority of women find you attractive. This is just the bottom line. Y'all know I'm not capping. Leave in the comment section. I love reading y'all testimonies. You know what I'm saying? I love reading y'all facts, the fact checks. You know, I might not heart them all, but I'm reading them all. And salute to you guys. Number three is that women are sluts for attractive guys. All of these women was kissing this guy. All of them. There'd have been another guy that they didn't really find that attractive. Nah, you ain't gonna see that slut in him. But for that guy that they find very attractive, they're a real slut, dog. They're a real slut. For that guy that they find attractive, they are a real slut. And the thing is, when you understand this, you will realize the nature of a woman never lies when it comes to that guy she's attracted to, that guy she's really feeling. The nature never lies. They act the same around these guys that they find attractive and they act the same around these guys that they don't find attractive. These women turn into pure sluts. They get slutty, very slutty, very nasty, very immoral when they find guys very attractive. And I'm just keeping it a stack with you. Those attractive guys, handsome guys, attractive, you see the signs. You see more than the signs. You see that side, that real nature of them. 
when they find you very attractive. You see that nature of them, guys. These women wouldn't be acting slutty if this dude was unattractive. Do y'all really think this women, all these women would be kissing him and doing all that? Man, these women wouldn't be doing none of that if this dude wasn't attractive. None of it, and y'all know it. Y'all know it. It just is what it is with that, man. Women are sluts for attractive guys. And the proof is right here. The proof is in the pudding. You feel me? Next is that being handsome can be dangerous. Chad, your ass going to catch some. Chad, your ass going to catch some. How you know them girls that you kiss ain't suck no cock? You know how the white people said the cock, you know? How you know these girls ain't suck no cock? How you know? Now you tongue kissing them, using your good looks to your advantage. And now look at you. Got a damn bump in your mouth. Let's get even deeper with this, man. I'm going I'm to do a video on this. Being handsome can be dangerous. I don't even really want to talk about it. I ain't going to even talk about it too much in this video, but I'm going to say this. You know, because I'm, I'm going to do a video on that, man. Being handsome can be very dangerous. And it's not, oh, it's just, I got haters. I got haters on my back. No, it's more than that. Being handsome can be dangerous because you get so much attention, so much interaction from women that you end up starting to do anything for the pussy. Pussy thrown at you and you taking any type of pussy. You taking a man's white pussy. You taking lower age. Like, man, I'm, a, I'm telling y'all, I'm going to get real. I'm going to get real ruthless with being handsome can be dangerous because a lot of you niggas, a lot of you. A lot of you, you know, not just niggas, but everybody. A lot of you guys, y'all got them good looks, but y'all use them too much to an advantage. Y'all get to get real sick with it, real grimy with it, real lack of morals. All that. Just because you look good and you know all these girls flocking to you. I'm going to get into that, man. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. I'll subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. And I'm out.